The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Hi, I'm Mary Meyer with the New Mexico Department of Health WIC Nutrition Program. I'm excited and proud to be here today to introduce our Family Health Television Series. The WIC Nutrition Program provides nutrition education, supplemental food, and health referrals for pregnant, breastfeeding, postpartum women, infants, and children up to the age of five for moderate to low income families. Our Family Health Series is a collaboration between the WIC Nutrition Program and New Mexico State University. These television programs provide support for families to develop lifelong healthy habits. If you're participating in the WIC program currently, let your local WIC office know if you have watched this episode today. Hi. I'm Deanna Torres, and this is my daughter, Donnie. She's 19 months. She's ready for her nap time. Mom, can you take her down for her nap? As parents, we want to provide the best start in life for our babies. There are so many questions when it comes to starting solid food, like when do you start, what do you start with? I knew that I wanted to make Donnie's baby food, and it was just such a wonderful experience for me. It just made me feel so good knowing that I was providing added love and attention to her feeding. And I found that it was very economical. For the price you pay for one jar of carrots, you can buy a whole pound of carrots and make several servings. And it made me feel good knowing that I knew exactly what was going into Donnie's baby food. A lot of the jar foods have added fat and sugar and salt, and I didn't want her to have any of these additives. So I had such a good experience with making Donnie's baby food that I'd like to share the process I used with you and also with a friend of mine who's coming over for lunch, Andrea and her son Isaac. Come on in, Andrea. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, this is Isaac. Hi, Isaac. He's getting so big. He is growing yeah, what kind of foods are Isaac eating now? Well, he's still eating baby food, but he's really um, wanting to eat more table foods now. Is he? Yes. Oh, uh, when did you start him on baby food? Um, I think it was around his six month when he was six months old. Okay. The pediatrician um, recommended that we started start him then. So. Oh, good. That's yeah. a pretty good age. A lot of times you look for things that they're doing. Um, things like leaning forward and opening their mouth or sitting with a little support. It's real important when they're full to be able to turn away from the spoon. So, yeah, he looks very good. Yeah. Have you made your own baby food? No, I didn't. I'm a working mom, and I didn't think I'd have enough time. Well, I'm so glad you came for lunch today because I'm going to show you how easy it is to oh, make good. baby food. That sounds good. And how fun it is, too. Okay. So, are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, great. I'm going to set him down. Okay. Wash my hands. The first thing we do is wash our hands. We need to make sure that our hands and all our utensils are very clean. We're going to have chicken salad for lunch today and we'll just make a little bit different for prepare it a little bit differently for Isaac okay. and Donnie's going to be joining us for lunch also. I really like that the babies can eat the same things that we do. Now what I would like for you to do is finish peeling the carrots okay. and then bring them over here to to cut. Okay? I started, look at how good this looks. I started a whole chicken so that we can use for several purposes. I like to have the, the stock for soups later, and we're going to use some chicken for our salad. We're also going to use some chicken for Isaac's baby food. 
I do want to show that the another option is to use the boneless, skinless chicken breast, but this is so much more expensive. Um, using a whole chicken, you can get so much more meat for the value. Plus, you have the chicken stock you can use um, for a variety of things. But when you are cooking and you're cooking with meat and vegetables, it's very important to keep them separate, to use two separate cooking boards. I usually use the colored for my meat and the white for my vegetables. You, there's a lot of bacteria that gathers on the meat and you do not want to get any of that on the vegetables. Once the meat is thoroughly cooked, it's fine but you just want to make sure that they are separate. I'm going to just save this for later and go ahead and use the chicken that I started this morning. Okay, go ahead and start. Yeah, those look great. Okay, they good. are nice. Go ahead and cut them in small pieces, and then we can get started. I'm going to make some extra carrots so that we can have some food, free some food for Isaac for you to use later. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, just little pieces are fine. And then we do want to cook in a small amount of cooking water. We don't need to actually cover the carrots with the water, but we just, um, we just put a small amount to cook until they are tender. Oh, those look great. Okay. And we usually boil them just until you, you can stick a fork in and it's kind of tender. Today I'm using fresh carrots, but you can also use canned vegetables. What you want to be careful with is the salt. There is so much salt in canned vegetables. You can either buy the vegetables without salt, or if you buy the ones like this can does have salt in it, you want to make sure that you rinse them and drain them really well. Okay, now, are ready. okay, great. We'll just put them, put them to boil. Okay. I also wanted to talk about um, introducing different foods to your baby. When you introduce foods, you want to introduce foods one at a time. There could be an allergic reaction to some of the foods. So you want to introduce one, wait two or three days, and if there's no allergic reaction, then introduce a new one. So we'll just wait for these carrots to finish boiling, and I believe our chicken is done. Let's see if these carrots are done. You just pierce them with a fork, and if they're tender, which these ones are, looks like they're done. Okay, go ahead and bring them over. And you can start um, put, them yeah, putting them in the blender with a little bit of the cooking water. And I am going to start um, taking some of this chicken off the bone. You always put a, either a little bit of cooking water or you can add some breast milk or formula to make the consistency really smooth. Oh, this chicken is very tender. Wow, it's just coming off with a, with a fork. Well, that looks good. I want to make sure that I'm not adding any of the fat, um, taking all the fat out so I don't, so that I won't include any in Isaac's food. Do you want me okay, to just pulse this yes, a bit? go ahead and. You may need to stop it and, and put, some more water? put a little more water okay. in it and maybe um, scrape the edges sure. also. Oh, that Let's looks good. Oh, that looks very good. Chunks in it, which he likes. He likes yeah. To chew. Well, Isaac's age, I think he could handle handle this consistency. If the baby's six months, you want to make it a little more pureed and add a little more water to it. But I think Isaac can handle this. I think he'd like that. This looks very it nice. Smells good too. So okay. should I put it in the, in the tray? Yeah. Here? Why don't you grab a tray? Let me um, let me first 
puree some of this meat okay. also, okay? Could you grab me a little bit of the cooking water? Sure. And I do want to add some of that to the chicken also. I cooked this chicken without any salt. Um, for the adults, you may want to add a little bit of the salt, but it's better just to cook it without the salt for baby food. So we'll just make a little bit of that. For All you have to do is just take a few extra steps and you can have your baby food. I really like having the babies eat the same thing that we do. Okay, this just... Looks like we need a little, need more little more water also. Thank you. Although Isaac might be able to handle that oh, consistency. Yeah, so we'll just puree it a little more. Oh, that looks... That's perfect. Perfect for him. Okay, we'll go ahead and I'll put this in a little container and why don't you um we leave a little bit for lunch today okay. and just put these in the ice tray it's really nice these ice trays are about one ounce serving so you put the carrots into the ice tray okay. freeze them and then you have your servings either one or two ounces whatever um that babies need so can you freeze the meat too um, yes, you can. Uh, I just made a little bit because okay. I do want to. I do want to um, use the rest of the chicken for okay. our lunch and for dinner also. Okay, great. Just go ahead and kind of pour it in there, and then just smooth it out. <laughs> Does Isaac like carrots? He loves carrots. This is nice because you can um, take the, these little cubes to daycare. Um, you can cook them or thaw them out immediately and use them immediately. Okay, okay. good. Now, um, you can either cover it with a plastic or aluminum foil if you're going to store. They last in the freezer about, oh, about a month. Um, but if you're going to use them immediately, you don't need to cover them. Okay. Or if you're going to put things on top of it, you <laughs> like with my freezer, you like to, it's pretty full, so I usually do cover it. Then you just freeze it, and um, it takes not too long for it to freeze. And then you can um, put them in a plastic bag, or you can use them right away. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, I'll just pull our carrots out of the freezer. They, they look? look very good. Yeah. Okay, and it's very simple. You just take the top off, get your plastic bag, and they just come right out. Now, there's several options that you can do. You can either freeze them, all like this for later, mm -hmm. or you can put them in smaller containers, which is very nice to take to daycare. If Isaac just wants one serving, or you can add a couple, put in a couple of cubes, they're about an ounce serving. And then you just put this in the diaper bag, take it to daycare, and by lunchtime, they're pretty much thawed out. You just stir it a little and they'll be ready for him. Um, what I'm going to do now for you to take later is just freeze the rest of these. Actually, I do want to heat. I do want to show how you can heat, heat one serving up right away. So I'm going to take one and put in a jar. Then seal the rest of them. And you want to write what it is and the date that you um, put it down. To put in the freezer it's good to use them in about a month okay, okay within the month and the way Isaac eats I know that won't like be a problem <laughs> so go ahead and put those in the freezer and I'm gonna heat this serving up which you just put in a jar 
and just heat it in some water on the stove. And it doesn't take long for it to boil and heat up. Yes, you can heat in the microwave. We don't recommend it, but if you do, you want to make sure that you stir it very well because what happens in the microwave is there's parts that get hotter than others. Oh, that's right. So you want to make sure that you stir it very well and always test it because, you know, it may you may think it's okay for him and it may just be a little hot. So it's very good to test it okay. before. Okay, this did not take long to thaw out. I think what we'll do for lunch today is we'll actually use the fresh carrots that okay. we made. They're room temperature. But if we were going to use these carrots, we'd want to make sure that we test it before we give it to Isaac. Sometimes you know, they're just too hot coming even from the stove. I know you talked about the microwave being, um, you know, how you it heats up in some places uh greater than others, right. but even with the stove, you want to stir it and test a little bit. Also with the chicken, the chicken is room temperature, so I don't think we actually need to do that. Why don't you go ahead and put Isaac's food in his bowl, and I can start making Donnie's food. Now, have you seen at the grocery store the junior foods yeah, for yeah. older kids for Donnie's age? They are so expensive. They are. They're very expensive. And she basically eats everything we do. All I do is I just cut it up a little bit more. I just chop it a little finer. But she loves to eat with her hands. Oh, so, yeah. yeah so, um, so I just chop things up a little finer, and then she just grabs it with her hands. How's that doing? That's good. Does he like um, mixed foods, or does he like to eat them separate? He Hi, them I separate, see. Actually, okay. yeah. He likes he, them separate? He enjoys okay. the taste of Okay, okay. When you make your baby food, you can try different. Do you want me to hold that there yeah, while you get it out? It's stuck. You can try different um, combinations of, of food. Okay, we got this stuck right in the, there we go, okay. Here, I'll just, okay. I'll just hold that and pour that out for, for Isaac. I think um, chicken and, and carrots are a really good combination. Uh, you can mix quite a few different foods together. You can mix vegetables and meat or different vegetables together. Have you seen the dinners um, on the shelf? the yeah. baby food dinners. Yeah. What that is is vegetables and meat mixed up, but there's a lot of other things in there like starch and just so many other things, and they're very expensive. What you do is you're paying for, for meat. You're paying for quite a bit, mm -hmm. and you really don't get that much meat. So if you ever want to try um, mixing foods up for him, mm -hmm. do it. just do it yourself. It's a lot less expensive. Okay. Okay. Wow, this looks very good. I might want to eat some of Isaac's baby <laughs> food. Yeah, Donnie's going to like this chicken. And she actually likes salad also. So I may give her some lettuce just chopped a little fine, too. Yeah. Well, you know, we've he is getting he hungry, is. huh? Is now, we've prepared the meal. And we've made food for our children. And that's, that's, it's just been a lot of fun. Now, there's um, something that we call the division of responsibility. And that is that the parents are responsible for what food and how, what food and when to give it to their children. And it's actually the child's food responsibility as to if they're going to eat and how much. They're going to eat. Sometimes, have you noticed that Isaac just eats and eats and eats, and then sometimes he doesn't eat? Yeah, I noticed that a lot. I know when Donnie was that age, I used to get worried when she wouldn't eat. Mm. But really, it's your responsibility to just prepare the food and what food it is, and then it's hers to eat. And she'll eat as much as she wants. Sometimes they go through a growth spurt, and they'll eat more than others. But um, oh, he's starting already. He That's good. And sometimes they'll just, they won't want to eat. But it's really their responsibility. So I'm just chopping this lettuce up. And I think I'm going to actually give her a salad to eat just the way we do. 
Mealtime is such a good time to teach new colors and new textures. Mm -hmm. um, you can introduce new foods and and just it's such a good time to have a conversation with your children. It's really um, fun to eat meals together. Sometimes we get really busy and we may want to just sit the kids down and um, have them eat while we're doing our other things. But it's so nice just to take your time and just sit and talk with them. Is he saying? Is he talking now? No, he's yes. not. just making his little sounds. Now, this is the same chicken that we used for oh, Isaac's yeah, food. Is. So um, I, I didn't put any salt on it. Um, okay. So if you want salt, you may want to may want to um, add a little bit yourself. Let's see. I think I'm going to get Donnie a glass of milk to drink with her meal. Is Isaac on oh, milk no, yet? No, I, I actually don't know when to start yet. I was going to ask the doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah, usually at about... Oh, 10 to 11 months, you can start giving him little tastes of oh, okay. milk. But it's so important in the cup, <laughs> okay, in the cup to, to give him milk from the cup. And, you know, as they're getting older, they can start having a little more. But still, up until a year, they need either breast milk or um, formula as their primary source. Okay. And then you just add more foods, add more texture, add more foods. Let's see, we talked about the first um, food being rice or, or iron fortified cereal. And then we moved to vegetables. Vegetables are probably the second food to add. Um, I know we did that with Donnie, and it worked really well because once we introduced fruits, she really liked that sweet. So it was good to introduce vegetables first and then go on to fruits um, because she still continued to eat her vegetables. Then we went on to, oh, to some of the meats, um, and then we went on to some of the dairy foods like, um, oh, He's hungry, huh? We need to get the meal prepared. We went on to some of the dairy foods like milk or some of the soft cheeses like ricotta cheese or mashed cottage cheese. And Donnie really loved mashed cottage cheese and some yogurt. I'm going to put some crackers on a plate. These are Triscuit low sodium. Anytime we can reduce our salt intake, it's a good idea and I think Donnie might even want a slice of cheese I'll just let it let her grab it itself she's so independent and eating time is a good time to allow them to show their independence you'll see as Isaac grows older he'll want to be independent and he'll want to start feeding himself Oh, and yeah. that's really important to let him start to feed himself. <laughs> You'll get things on the floor. You'll notice it's very messy. But it's important to their development okay. to, to allow them to feed themselves. And it's fun. It's fun to watch, too. So anytime I can, I let Donnie get, get her own food and feed herself. So let's set this on the table. Go ahead and set that on the high chair for Isaac. And I'll, I think I'm gonna have Donnie just sit on my lap. And here's our salad. Go ahead and get um, Isaac in the high chair, and I'll run up and get Donnie. Okay. Oh, boy. How does Isaac like his food? Oh, he likes it. He likes it. Mm. Look at honey. Donnie likes her food, too. She loves salad, huh? Oh, that good? <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Um. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Let's see, is he eating the carrots also? Oh, Oh, he does like it. It's so much fun to eat with your kids, to eat meals as a family and just sit down and relax and with the TV off, all distractions. They really do eat a lot better when, when you do that. You like your salad, huh? Mm -hmm. You like your salad. Here, you want some cheese? You want cheese, huh? No? Okay. Hold like this. Hold that. Okay. Are you going to eat your salad with your hand now? Yeah. How's he doing over He's there? Good. And they're actually eating the same thing we did. We yeah, are. That's great. So isn't it nice? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she does. She does eat some raw carrots too. So I might just give her some from our salad. And Isaac's not ready yet. Pretty nope. soon, a little no, while, good. he'll be ready for <laughs> raw carrots. Now they're cooked. Look at Isaac eating. Remember? Mommy used to make your food like that, huh? Mm. Can I have a chicken? All right. Mm. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Who's knocking? Come in. <laughs> Is somebody coming to see me? <laughs> Those, that food came out pretty, with some good texture yeah, to it. Yeah, he likes it. Yeah, some of the Hi. foods are, are real Hi. runny. Hello. <laughs> some of the foods are real runny, but that food came out with some really good texture. Yeah, I think he likes this chicken a lot. Oh, look at him. Hello again. I hope you've enjoyed the show today. If you have any questions regarding information you've heard today or would like information about the WIC Nutrition Program, please call 1-800-280-1618. And do join us for other family health episodes in the future. Proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.